you guys are having fun with the Hoonigan Pack, let me know what's your favorite car. Ooh, that was butter right there. What's up everybody welcome back to the channel I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Horizon 3 in this Nova so I decided today I wanted to mess with the Nova today from the Hoonigan car pack and do a drift build on this and see what we can do and do a little bit of a drift challenge and you know hit some of the drift zones see what we can do with this you know beautiful nova right here that says kill all tires on the back we definitely will be killing some tires this beautiful sparco evo 2 seats with takata harnesses so uh let's get in to see what we can do upgrade wise on this car and get a you know get a setup going here so we can twin turbo it or supercharge it we are sitting at 475 horse i think i want to leave it i think we're gonna leave it at a see what we can do for body mods what do we got of course, we got the Forza duck bill. Probably got a Forza wing. Yep. Scoop. Ooh, that blower is sticking out the hood, though. Uh, but I think we're going to leave the Napalm Nova hood on there. I like how it's, you know, popped up a little bit, you know, with the rear hood risers. What are we working with tires right now? We are on stock tires, so we're going to leave stock tires on. Track with 265s and leave those. 295s, we'll leave those. I do like the wheels, so we're going to leave all of that how it is. What size rims are these? Yeah, we'll leave 15s on. I do like the look of it how it is, but we're probably going to change the suspension if we can. We cannot. Maybe we can. I'm not sure. Clutch. Transmission. Oh, we forgot the drive shaft. We need to put the drive shaft in there too. Dry shaft. Beautiful Will Woods. Uh, okay, we're going to put race brakes on. Uh, we're going to go with rally suspension. We're going to lower this thing as low as we can. Make this thing as light as possible. It's already light. It's pretty stripped out. As for power adders, I think we're just going to go with some cams. 593. Um... I don't want to go over 600. I think we're going to try and get this close to 600 as we can. 604, I'm good with that. So 604 is what we're going to do. We've got the LSD in there now so we can lock that up. 604 horsepower. Let's uh, get a little tune on it and uh, start ripping it and see you know, how she slides. Maybe hit up the parking lot. Just try it a little bit. And then we're going to tackle some drift zones and see. Because I know everybody, a lot of people are building these for drag racing so i figured i would build one for drifting because you know i like drifting all right leave the gearing till we drive it let's uh throw a little more camber in there a uh, little bit of toe we'll leave the caster how it is let's see how low we can get this thing to go a little bit higher in the front though Oof. ah we'll just dump it and see what it does we're gonna throw the uh Tandem style brakes on. I'm gonna put the acceleration at 100, and I've been liking diesel at 70, so we're gonna put it at 70. Oof, that thing just dropped. All right, this thing's pretty low now. Oh yeah, she's talking. Oh yeah, she slides now with that lock diff because before I believe it had almost like an open diff. Frame rate lag, I don't know why. Ooh, just tap! Forgot what the inside of this looks like. Oh, yeah. That's right. Ooh, there we go. A little first person drifting going on right now. Oh, this thing handles pretty awesome, actually. Not gonna lie. So, real quick, we're gonna hit up the car park, get a little test in tune because it's pretty good to test a car there to get a good setup dial like a good basic setup i found for myself personally and then we'll hit up some drift zones see what we can do in this thing do some street drifting napalm nova drift build challenge here we can see how this goes 
All right. I got a flip of 180, though. Ooh. Just tap. I feel like we're going to go into a private online session so the driver tires are no longer with us when we go to the drift zones. All right, let's see how this goes. Let's see how she runs. Oh, man. That's pretty nice. Eh? What? The feedback feels amazing in this car right now. Um, I don't think we're going to touch it. This feels incredibly awesome. Yep. I think we're going to leave this. Switch up in the first person a little bit. That raised cowl. There we go. Oh, man. This car is so nice right now. Right on that tree. Right on that tree. Oh, it's a tree. T John. R.I.P. Without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. All right. So uh, I don't think we're going to set the setup. I think we're going to leave the setup how it is. So let us head to my favorite drift spot. Double hairpins. See, we're going to rip this thing downhill. See how well we can do. This thing slides nice. I, I didn't. I, I heard it's a pretty good drift car from a couple of the HZFN guys, but I, I wanted to see it for myself. And this thing, this thing's money right now. Ooh, that's right. We're gonna go into an online private session. So I will see you guys once I get in my own session. All right. After much trying to find servers, we found our own private server. I don't know why it took so long. So we're gonna rip this downhill. See how this just goes. Rip's probably in third gear. We're gonna wait till we get into the area. We break, enter in. There we go. Not anyone on the dirt. So definitely can do a better run, and we're gonna definitely try at least one more time. Maybe make some modifications to tire pressures here. Yep, definitely going to have to make a little bit of a change to the gear ratios here. Like I said, get a good baseline tune. We're going to bump the tire pressures up. There we go. Gearing. A uh, little more acceleration. There we go. Now we're going to rip this back uphill. Just all the tire spin. Go. Break up. Matt the gas. I think we're gonna stay in third though. This is a tire drop. We're good. Ooh. It flows. Ooh. Clutch kick. Let's stay away from that car. Cut inside this tap. Not a bad run. Got Nichi back. It's poking me in the back. Alright, so we're gonna give this a shot downhill again with the modified gear ratios. We're probably gonna change drift zones a little bit. Maybe head up to hillside, get some high speed going. There we go. Ooh, perfect entry. On the outside of him. There we go. Down that line. Ooh, this is a good run. This is a good run. Yep. We're good. This is a good run. Down that line. There we go. 115. Not my best run. My best runs are in the 130s, but all things considering, not a bad run. So now let's hit up another drift zone. We're going to drive there, though. We're going to run it uphill, so... we set our waypoint there. We're going to rip it this way. I am having a lot of fun with these Hoonigan cars. Like, if you guys are having fun with the Hoonigan pack, let me know what's your favorite car. Ooh, that was butter right there. Ooh. 
this is butter right now. This is so nice. Not gonna lie, this car handles really well. Let me break in. On the clutch. There we go. Alright, hillside. Here we go. High speed entry off the jump. Attempt number two on the uphill. Hopefully there's not an X5 there. There is an X5 there. What are you doing, dude? There we go. Come third. Don't know how we held that, but we did. Ooh, yes. All right. 10 out of 10. This car makes a very nice drift car. I mean, this thing just slides. I mean, 120k uphill. I'll take that. Wow. My best is 186, but given the fact that I did that with a 1,000 horsepower car, this car only has 600. Um, I like it. Definitely like this a lot. I'm gonna run this high-speed entry here, fourth gear. Look it out, throw it in. E-brake, throw it in. Run that outside. Run the outside of that mini. Take it back. Not the best line to that section, but there's some cars I contend with. But we still got it though. Ooh, we got it though. We saved it. We're gonna save this run. A Bart just taps with me. I mean, 136 is incredibly reasonable. I got a shattered window, so we're gonna run this uphill, but I feel like I'm gonna fix my car first. Before we do. So the car is fixed. Cosmetic is still on though. For lack there for less hitboxes. We're gonna run this in first person now. Let's see what we can do. There we go. And it's in. I don't normally drift in first person, so this is definitely a, a change for me right now. There we go. Yes. Although this is definitely the car to do it with this and the Twerk Stallion because the control of these cars is incredible. Just running that outside bang. That was money right there. That was a good run. Not a high points run, but there's definitely some style in there. We're going to run this downhill in first person. See how we do. This car. I like this car a lot. This Nova. Definitely not going to build this as a, drift, as a drag car. Going to keep this as a drift car. Here we go. High speed enter. Flick back. Or e brake. We go off the clutch. Nice smooth line. Tuck in that dirt. Kick it back this way. Ooh. The clutch kick. E brake. We're still on the pavement. We're still getting points. All right, this is fun. Trying to drift in first person in between the cars. Oh, it's a tap. Excuse me, Boris. All right. So now, now I kind of want to do uh, double hairpins in first person. So we're gonna rip back to double hairpins there. I'm gonna rip this little, this little turn here. Ooh, no! Just tap on the sign. We got it. We can go this way. I was like, can we go this way? I don't know. They didn't need that fence. Excuse me. He's doing some hoonigan stuff. Oh, here's that section that I linked on the way up. A little bit wide, but we're good. Ooh, running that inside line. We got this. We're just going to run right into this. Right into the twin hairpins uphill. Oh, I got cocky. We were doing so good. I got cocky. 
Back on track, though. Here we go. Deep break. On that gas. The clutch. Oh, I was trying to go around him, but I was not ready in time. So, if you guys are enjoying first person more drifting, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm actually having a lot of fun trying this. Maybe uh, get into a tandem live one of these times and try you know, doing some tandems in first person. Alright, let's do this. One last run downhill. In this Nova. In third gear, here we go. Enter in. Nice. Nice line. There we go. Clutch kick. Around the BMW. I don't know how I didn't spin out there, but I didn't. Long e brake grab to stay on track. There we go. Downshift to second. Yes. This Nova is insane drifting I'm gonna throw this tune up for you guys before the end of this episode if you guys want to try this tune out let me know what you if you try it out let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of this I mean this thing this thing I, I'm kind of in love with this right now Ooh, that femur scared me but we're good There's a street section that I kind of want to try. Ooh, too much. Not enough. I gotta find that street section real quick before we... Oh, it's right there. Okay. We're just gonna go down this road. We're gonna drift this street section. We're gonna switch it back out to third person though. For all the tire smoke. There we go. There's a train. Oh, we're going to hit the train. We're going to miss it. Oh, that would have been sweet. If we could have drifted by the train, like right as it was passing. All right, here we go. It's a little street section. The fun little section to run. It's got a jump drift in it too. I ran this in a prior episode with some of the team. Seeing how long sim tires would last. Wow. That was so butter. Oh boy. That was not, but. Excuse me. Coming through. On ye. Back this way. Oh, and the rain starts. Just as I was having fun in this Nova, this little jump drift section. Oh, and there's always cars. Reverse entry, though. Not gonna work. Ah. Uh, well, I guess we'll see how she slides in the rain. Back around. This the feel the force feedback feels pretty good in this car right now, actually. I'm kind of surprised actually. Like the feedback feels I wonder if it's just how the car's set up. It's making the feedback feel this way, or maybe the feedback is just a little different in these cars. I'm not sure. So here we go and try this again. In the rain, in the wet. Whole whole massive angle. I don't think we're gonna hold that. Nope, did not expect to hold that. Put it there. Right, there we go. Will you break to stay on track? Go to Manji. Dodge that Mazda. We're good. Ooh. Come straight on for this. Oh. There's always cars. Always cars. Can never get that turn without cars being there. Ooh, I'm gonna tree it. No! Oh, so I think that's gonna do it here for this episode here on Forza Horizon 3. If you guys wanna see more of Forza Horizon 3 and who's the impact, don't forget to tap that like button, subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate the support as well as you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. Until next time, guys, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. And I'm out. As it stops raining. Fail.